Hey everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit more about games. So specifically what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be talking about Far Cry 5. Um, for a lot of you guys who probably don't know, I actually really enjoyed the, the entire Far Cry series. I really hated where the Far Cry series went, um, considering where the original Far Cry series, or where the original Far Cry games were, and then how differently it became after that, but I don't dislike the games themselves overall. Um, but moving on from that, in particular from the Far Cry thing, what we're going to be talking about specifically today is about Far Cry 5. Uh, because as you guys probably know, today that is going to be one of those controversial games that are coming out that, honestly, I really am looking forward to. Um, so, as some of you guys may have already saw from one of Sargon's uh, secondary channels, as well as, of course, um, just in general on other news channels and other things like that, uh, there has been a petition that came up here not too long ago uh, called Cancel Far Cry 5. So let's go ahead and bring that up now. So, as you can see here, we got the Cancel Far Cry 5 uh, up here. It's on Change.org. It's a petition. Uh, not that anything ever happens on Change.org anyways, but the fact of the matter is, is that there is a petition. It is something that's kind of big, and as you can see, it's actually almost got the number of petition uh, signatures that it needs to actually continue to go forward. Uh, now, however, the one thing I will say is, is that this has been up for a while, and it is only at 2,275 supporters. Which is actually a semi-decent number, but at the same time, in comparison to the sheer number of people out there who probably want to see it, I'm I'm pretty sure that it's, you know, pretty sure that's a small number, basically. And the fact that it's taken them this long just to get up to this number is actually kind of ridiculous, so... But anyways, to move on, let's go ahead and just read over the article a little bit first, and before we actually get into talking about it, um, let's go ahead and say here... All right, enough is enough, Ubisoft. We've sat through your multicultural lectures and your preachy games aimed at degenerates and misogenators. Mis I have no idea how to say that. We've tolerated it in the name of gameplay design and innovation, but no more. Far, Far, Far Cry 5 is an insult to your fan base, the Americans who make up the majority of your customers, and it's time you woke up to that fact. Change this or cancel it. Now, the first thing I want to say is that I actually absolutely adore what they're doing with Far Cry 5. I think it's amazing. I think it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Um, I totally cannot wait to see what it's actually going to come out with Far Now, because th thankfully this is not going to do anything. This is that Hopefully this does not actually physically cancel Far Cry 5. But this, I know for a fact, will never do anything um, to it, or at least I'm hoping so. And the fact is I'm really super looking forward to it. For anybody who doesn't know what the Far Cry 5 supremacy is, Far Cry 5 is going to be taking place in, I'm guessing, in the southern uh, part of the U.S., I believe Georgia, something along those particular lines. Uh, it takes place in a sort of like a semi-civil war uh, kind of um, situation. Uh, the individuals within this, uh, within this area are sort of uh, lawless, and they are just individuals and people who are trying to survive within a... A world that's basically being taken over by a crazy villain uh, just like pretty much all the other Far Cry series as, as it is um, and it takes place with like like I said within like a sort of you know southern kind of like a family oriented kind of you know just that just that American feel of of guns and the South and the trucks and you know that kind of stuff and it's got it's got that great feel and, and I come from the South so I would I am super looking forward to it and it's just one of those things that I look at and I go oh my god that's so cool I totally want to see this and I totally want to see the premise because it's something that actually really speaks about what's happening even in today's day and age and I'm not I'm, I don't know necessarily all the premise behind Far Cry 5 I don't know every little detail i didn't pay attention to that but the idea is just it seems like such a cool idea and the fact that we constantly go over to other countries we constantly are doing stuff in other places that are having all these problems why not make up something really quickly and throw it into the american and the american feel i think more americans would enjoy that because it's american you know what i mean so let's keep moving on with the article you us gamers have had to endure a lot of crap over the last few years. 
The targeted harassment by the mainstream press through Gamergate and the terrible launch and outright lies of highly anticipated video games, the outright censorship of art through localization policies and continued rejection of romantic partners when they find out our hobby, the appropriation of our culture by so-called gamers on Twitter. No more. And this feels like this is just some kind of like, I mean, I, most gamers don't give a crap about any of this. Like, I don't feel like any gamer really cares. And hence the reason why they have struggled to get this many signatures. Because who cares? Who cares if other people take our culture? Like, what does that matter? Like, what is, what is gamer culture? That you like games? You know, you know, I just had a conversation with a friend of mine not too long ago. I think it was literally just last night, actually. The whole point around culture is that when cultures combine together and they share their cultures, that's how a new culture is grown. That's how cultures grow. When cultures are come together and they bend, blend together, when they start blending together, individual cultures will always exist. Jews will have their practices. Christians will always have their practices. Muslims will always have their practices. But when you have those practices combined together and you have that cultural, uh, like that cultural just practices of, of Italy, you know, Italians who came to New York and shared all of their food with, with the world, you know, uh, Scottish individuals sharing their whiskey. You know what I mean? It's just that, it's that, it's that that, that comb combination of what, what makes America great. It's the combination of cultures here in America that make us great. So if we create a culture out of our out of our American system, out of our our lives by making a gaming culture, why is it bad that other people take it? What what does it matter if they like it? I would love to see somebody who doesn't like he doesn't even like games take gaming like aesthetics because they just like the way aesthetics of gaming is and do like a complete wardrobe out of it like wh why would that be a bad thing I mean, what does it matter whether or not they like games or not why do they have to like games in order to actually be involved with gamings why can't they just like the aesthetics <sighs> well let's move on it's, all dry, it's time to draw a line in the sand. We, the American gamers that make up the majority of our user, of your user base, demand to you demand to you to cancel this game or alter it to be less offensive to your main player base. It doesn't feel like the individual who's actually writing this even believes what he's saying. And it just feels like he's just somebody trying to jump on the victim train again so that he can start something good and his name will be remembered by somebody. In these times, you must understand that there might be some violent repercussions if you intend to follow through with your pointless criticism. So now you're going to say that you're going, you're going to literally say that you're going to commit violence. So what you're saying now is that you're literally going to commit violence in order for you to actually... You know, show that what you're doing is wrong. Okay, well, if you continue with this, we're going to come to you. We're going to find you. We're going to hurt you. Yes, because a game can be violent. You know, a game just in sparks that violence. Because, and, and it's, like I said, it's just somebody trying to get their victim, get their victim status. They're just trying to get their victim status. That's all it is. So here are the following suggestions to make your game right. Change the villains. Okay, it's not so hard, really. Just change the villains to something more realistic. Islam is on the rise in America. Is the violent their city gangs? Are you scared to do so in the world? In the words of Baltier, to learn who rules, simply find out who's not being criticized. Why does it have to be Islam? I mean, honestly, don't get me wrong. I understand that Islam is a problem, and I think for the most part, generally speaking, it's covered. Like I think it's been covered. By by most people, why why does a gaming company who's making up a fake story have to have to be Islamic? You know, and, and it's not like it's Christian. You know, I mean, they make it out like it's, it's it has Christian values in it, and it clearly it has like a Christian undertone and stuff like that in it. And, and I don't think that Christians are outside of criticism, and nor do I think that this actually applies criticism to really anybody. Because I think the villains aren't necessarily, like, I don't entirely know the 100% premise when it comes to all the different little things when it comes to, like, 
where all the villains are coming from or so on and so forth. But why does it matter in the long run? Because I, I know what I saw when I saw that, that first trailer. Uh, that trailer shows like a, a black preacher, he's preparing to fight for his flock. You know what I mean? Isn't that a good? Isn't that sort of like good criticism for 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 Christians? You know what I mean? I mean, isn't that kind of like a good thing? I would think, anyways. I don't know. And they're just like it's just like it feels like this is just like Islamic rhetoric. It's just like this is just some guy who's like super left wing or super right wing, just wanting to make his own victim status because he's just like, my feelings hurt. Man, grow some balls. It's like whatever. If you can't take some criticism, then you can't take criticism. And, and I like I said, gaming gaming companies don't make criticism. They just take a story and they go, you know what? This would be really interesting. Let's do that. And then whatever. Let's move on. I don't know how alter the villains is different from change the villains, but let's read it anyways. Alter the villains. Even if you insist on making the villains American Christians, consider mixing the races a bit to not target white people exclusively. What does that matter? What does it literally matter? They're not doing it to purposely go after white people. And they have black people in there. Like, what does it matter? And how do you know that they're not going to have more black people? If it's in Georgia, there better be a lot of black people down there because that's not a, that's not correct if it is. I, I don't know if anybody's been, been to Georgia, but Georgia's mostly black. There are plenty of nationalists of every stripe and every race and creed, so throw in some blacks and Mexicans. There's no reason a protectionist nationalist movement would be all one race. Why stop being politically correct here? And then it's like, why does it matter? Why are you trying to say that it matters that it's even political? Isn't your whole argument in the first place that you just don't, like, don't want criticism towards Christians? So why does it matter if all the enemies are white? What is that going to be like? It's just like, it's just like, it's criticism. They're criticizing a game that's not even out yet for the sake of criticizing a game because their fifis are hurt. Because their fifis might be hurt. And they don't even know if it's going to be hurt. Ugh. Alter the plot. It's obvious that you continue to insist on using these characters. However, with a few artistic tweaks, you can save the concept entirely. Have the villains simply be dis misguided patriots forced into making their own nation making their own nation versus the will of an oppressive uh, overgovernment. Constructed of a, all the people they turn their wrath against in their immediate surroundings. Isn't that kind of already the plot of the game, though? I, I, that's what I thought it already was. And why is that? Why does it have? Why can't it? I don't know about you, but like, I would l really rather it be somebody who's not a misguided villain. I'd rather it be somebody like who is okay. That guy's unquestionably evil. Why is it wrong to have some unquestionably evil white guy who is a racist be the enemy? Wouldn't that kind of like sort of support the whole concept of? Yeah, we hate racists. You know. You could be a white guy who's going around killing other white people who are actually racist. You know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, that would kind of set a really a kind of a bad image in, I guess you could almost say in a particular day and age and presence because you know you might get some people a little crazy because people are crazy. But I don't necessarily think that the overall premise of like what they have now, I, I like it when the villains unquestionably evil. Like my problem with the, with that particular concept is saying is now you're saying that these this villain is not unquestionably evil. He's not unquestionably like he's got some underlining background stuff that we gotta know. You now we gotta make that final decision at the end: do we kill him or do we not kill him? Then we just go basically with change the settings. But only for certain markets. Look, I get they that anti-Americanism place in France, and I'm not telling you to give up on the potential profits due to com due to complaints. Wouldn't want to be thought as one of those hypocritic feminists, right? You already are, dude. But for America right now, anti-Americanism is out. You gotta play your market. Change the setting to Canada for America. This way, you don't turn players due to offensiveness i don't I, I think this guy is like completely off the rails i i mean honestly i think he's completely oblivious and on un, un, completely unself-aware 
completely unself-aware of his own of his own things. If he's one of those individuals who's like anti-feminist or whatnot and shit like that, then he's clearly completely lost the plot. Follow one or more of these and this game would be saved from the PC hell and the multicultural development. We Americans have so few games to call our own and we are tired of losing them to multicultural bullshit. What is... What does being American have anything to do with having games? You know what I mean? And what is it? And, and, and I just, well, this is one of those things that I just don't, I feel like this is literally like a white supremacist guy. Like, I, I can't tell if this guy is, 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 is in fact a white supremacist and he's just like, kind of like going off of this. I don't know if he's just like a super right winger or if he's just kind of a right winger and he's just completely lost the plot. I don't know if he's. I don't know. I don't know where this guy is coming from at all. I can't, I can't, I can't wrap my head around anything that he says because it makes no sense because being American is about multiculturalism. Like the whole point of being American is multiculturalism. We came here because we seeked the right and freedom to basically practice our own religions that we want, practice the religions that we want. That was pretty much our goal. And that in and of itself is multiculturalism. Because we didn't just have Protestants. We had Catholics. We had Protestants. We had, uh, we eventually had the Mormons. Then we had Pentecostals. We had all this stuff. You know, it's all, it just, just started, it just started building up. And that in and of itself is multiculturalism. And then we introduced, it wasn't just like, just the British. It, then we had you know, we had the British come over, then we had French come over. That in of itself is multiculturalism. There's multiple cultures there. Then we had Italians, and then you had the Scottish and the and the and the Irish, and you had you know, and then in blacks, and you had the Japanese and the Asians and stuff like that. Them all come over to help build the railroad. The only reason why the railroad it was built. Back in the, like, I don't even remember when it was. I think it was, like, the 1840s or something like that. I, I think it was even probably later than that. The fact is, is that the only reason why half the stuff that was in this world was built is because of multiculturalism. The only reason why we have what we have today is because of multiculturalism. And he's completely against it, saying it's anti-American, and it makes no sense, because that is literally, like, literally what America is all about. We are literally a melting pot and that's what we've always been and how can you say anything else otherwise? Did nobody go to history class? I know I had to take it. There's apparently an update as well on the bottom of this. Uh, saying something about the change.org tried to refuse access to the petition. I had no problem getting to this act to the to this petition, so I don't know what the hell he's talking about. This position promotes violence. I'm not entirely sure how that's true. However, technically, he did say up here that he's saying he, he sp does technically specifically say that you must understand that there might be some violent repercussions if you intend to follow through with these pointless criticism. With your pointless criticism. So he's literally specifically saying that there might be violence. So technically he is somewhat inciting violence. Um, I wouldn't say that it's it's a, you know, full-on incitement or anything like that. Like, he's saying go out and be violent. It's just he's sort of hinting at the idea that, you know, do what we tell you or we'll come beat you up. You know what I mean? I would like to say that this petition has been a great success. Some new games and many images have both shown black man in the villain's table. True quality wants to ensure the you know, blah, 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 blah. I mean, bullshit, bullshit. All I can really say is it's all a bunch of load of bullshit from what I can see on here. I, I just get my... I, you, I have the same reaction, I feel, as, as some of the other people who've criticized this particular um, petition. Who cares? What does it matter? Like, the whole point that we try to get at when it comes to all of this other crap that we get onto this whole shit about feminists, we get onto about 
anybody else who believes in this kind of crap is about, like in the LGBTQ uh, communities and stuff like that, is that who cares? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to care. Stop making it so important. Why is this such an important thing for you to care about? Why can't somebody just make something and just nobody care? Why does there have to be some kind of like secret message in it? Nobody cares. And most often than not, there is not a secret message. Trust me, Ubisoft does not want to kill all white people. But anyways, a petition goes on, I guess, to just sort of talk about a couple of things. Um, just, you know, just this, in general, just rant about, about all the fact that probably ranting pretty much about how his petition's not really that much of a success. If you want to sign the petition, please feel free to do so. I don't believe that you should because I think it's a load of crap. Uh, but that's also one of those things I believe is that I'm allowed to criticize your belief. I'm allowed to criticize what something like this, but I don't believe that you shouldn't do it if you don't believe it. If you believe it, if you believe it, then go for it. You know what I mean? Do it. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I'm not here to stop you from doing that. I will even link this in the description of this video so that way you can, can if you'd like to. But I honestly believe it's a load of shit. I think that honestly, it's it's stupid. I, I, I can't honestly even begin to understand why someone would even consider signing this because it makes no sense and it's totally counter the narrative that we're already trying to put forward for everyone else. We are supposed to be the not snowflakes. We're supposed to be the ones who don't give a shit about criticism, who brush off criticism. We take it as it is and we think about it and then we analyze whether or not it's actually relevant or not. And then if it is, we, you know, we take it in and we do what we must with it. But if it's not, then we go, thanks for the input. Fuck off. And then that's it. And then we move on. But this is completely counter to that. This is horribly and completely counter narrative to any of that. So please don't sign it. But it will be in the description, and if you really do want to, feel free. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I certainly hope you liked the video. If you did, you guys know the drill by now. Go ahead and hit that like button. And if you really liked it, go ahead and hit that share button. If you loved it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. Don't forget to have fun.